Hello, my beautiful Capricorn Vibe Drivers. Welcome to your August 1st through 15th, 2022 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is the collective energy for all Capricorn, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And with that, let's see what the cards have to say. Oh, you are mere moments from this fabulous breakthrough energy. Hang tough, my cappies, because you're right there. On the, you, you can see the treads of the door. You know it's right there. Do not give up five minutes before your miracle. Because here is the Roman numeral 10 and the energy of the breakthrough that you've been waiting for. This is the coveted, beautiful Wheel of Fortune, which is where all karmic holds are released. All doors open. All red lights turn green. You are literally catapulted into your future past all obstacles. They fall to dust at your feet. And this is a really great, amazing beginning. So it's showing you, don't give up. Do not lose heart. Stay tough. You're almost there. Let's see what else we have. That's a great start. Talk about encouragement. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine Spirit, the beautiful chariot. So this upgrade is huge when you got the Wheel of Fortune backing it up. So this is the Cancer Major Arcana, but it also means living the posh life. We love this energy. It means being in the place of reverence, being, you know, being revered, being seen in the limelight. It is a, a change in status and an absolute change in your, your surroundings into a very much a bigger life than you had ever imagined. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we had a cartwheeled out card. <laughs> it literally did the spinning out. So there is the Nine of Pentacles, which is the Garden of Eden energy. This is reminding you that you have control over what your destiny is when you are in your belief. Remember that Nine you had at the beginning where you're at the very breakthrough edge. Now this is the Nine of the breakthrough edge of understanding that you are a self-fulfilling prophecy. And the money is already out there. The universe has everything you need already in existence. You just have to dial in to that same frequency. And when you believe that you're the kind of person who always lands on their feet, who always comes out smelling like a rose, no matter what, what kind of poo people throw at you, right? Sometimes you're standing in front of the poo fan, but you still manage to dodge all the bullets. That's the kind of person that you believe you are. That's the kind of person you are. So it is a self-fulfilling prophecy. Believe that to yourself. Believe that the universe is continuously conspiring in your favor. That it provides exactly what you need, exactly when you need it, every single time. And you will not be disappointed. Ooh, two of cups, divine alignment. Whether it's with another person, with your higher self, or with a partnership, right, in a business. So here's the three ways this works. It can be all three at the same time, but I'm giving the three definitions for however that may be for you, since this is a general reading. So the two combined energies are being very much of, of like-mindedness and being joined in the divine light. So two souls in this energy, so that's soulmate energy. Then you have the energy of your higher self taking your ego and setting it to the side and letting yourself work through this lifetime in your divine mind. When you're in that divine mind, all that ego stuff that's that's focused on the ego, you know, your your negative self-talk, the uh, conspiracy that you believe is going on, you know, whatever little stuff at the office or, or you know, somebody having that need to qualify yourself and, and, and needing to feel worthy and that's all gone when the higher self is in charge. So it's a different filter. You look at the world from a different place. Now, 
As a partnership, this means you're on the same wavelength and success is imminent. It can't be avoided when you're both on the same path and you're working together toward one common goal. So, there's the Emperor. The Emperor is the Aries Major Arcana, but it is also the energy of something fully formed. You see how this Zodiac Wheel is solid? There's no openings in it, and it's showing every Zodiac sign. This means that everything is in alignment within you and all of the things that you're working towards. So this is something showing up fully formed, whether it's a person which can be somebody who's very experienced and very very worldly um, and very mature energy. Now, I don't mean age. I mean mature. Somebody who's got their priorities in the right place, right? Or has already been working toward their, their higher good. Now, we have the Seven of Cups, which you know already is the dump truck load of blessings this is the energy of everything showing up all at the same time it's all the blessings you want and everything you've been moving toward and, and focusing on it just means it all shows up where it's all happening all at once and that can be a little overwhelming but it's in a good way so don't speak negatively about how how overwhelmed you are just say you know what it all showed up at the same time but hey i'm taking it as it comes one piece at a time do one thing at a time there's nothing to rush there's nothing that's going to spoil when the universe gives it to you this way it means it's supposed to be this way so it's going to require some sweat equity <laughs> but you you're going to be glad to be doing it so five of wands is a little bit of a turmoil going on either within yourself it can be a little self inner conflict or someone else. It's minor. Don't let yourself be taken off the path by this because your energy is aligned here. And um, anybody who doesn't, uh, if they don't get along, they can move along, right? So if they don't vibe with you anymore, that's something you got to remember. When you're changing your frequency, low vibration people can't tolerate that because it almost makes them itch internally. It, it just aggravates them because that, that means they have to change and they're not going to. So let them go. You've got the word. Here comes the page of wands coming to give you the instruction on what to do to move forward and allow you to get out of this conflict energy. And an offer, the Knight of Cups. So it's either a person's offer like that fits this all this beautiful energy here. I think it has to do with uh, being brought into a new job over here. So we'll see what's going on. Yeah, you're, you're you're in that place where you're going, come on, let, let me get up out of this. Remember, the fives are change. And so there's your five of rods and here's your five of pentacles. Now, sometimes we think, well, if I do something to cause a reaction in the universe, if I do something, then it has to react. Listen, don't push. The universe is already doing it. You can't make it go faster than it will. Besides, it's already given this dump truck load. You just may not have gotten it yet. So what you do is you prepare Make ready for when the dump truck load shows up. What are you going to need? Well, you're going to need shovels, and you're going to need a wheelbarrow, and you're going to need transport. You get what I'm saying? Start working on logistics in your mind before it actually happens, because here it comes. Yeah. So the Six of Pentacles is the energy of money being given freely. It means it doesn't have to be paid back. So you got the Five to the Six. That's a beautiful progression. Perfect. That's perfect alignment when it goes from five to six of the same suit. And another six. This is coming through the Battle Victorious, being the front runner, head and shoulders above the rest. So what you're waiting for is lining itself up to turn out better than you'd hoped. So don't rush it. Don't, don't call and send messages to the person that you've applied for. Let them contact you. No news is good news. They are going to contact you. Don't push them. Four of Pentacles. This is the energy of being financially stable and money in the bank. So this is the miser. He likes to hold on to that car those cards and, and this remember this are the coins. This is your energy. The coins are your energy, my cappies, because you're an earth sign. So just let that work itself out. You got money in the bank and you're stable. Another six of pentacles. Confirming the first one over here, turning out better than you'd hope for more money than you'd hope possibly or more benefit than you hoped. This is something that doesn't have to be paid back. So whatever it is, it's given freely. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light. 
Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, we have our cards that flipped on us. Nine of Cups, your heart's desire being granted. So you got these two nines together. So far you've had three nines out here. So you're having breakthroughs and everything lining up. This is a yes from the universe for this to move forward. And you're very happy, content, and satisfied. I feel like there's, yep, there's two cards there. We have the Queen of Cups. So whatever this card means for you, the Two of Cups, I gave you the three reasons. This is the energy of the Queen, which is sometimes she can get back into the past and get to wallowing in a pity party. So please only look at the past in, in perspective. That means using it as, here's where I started, look at how far I've come. Don't get back into the details of all the nitty gritty because you've already lived that. Don't do it again. You're giving your life force away when you do that. You want that vital vitality and that new energy so that you can grow new things, not experience the same old pain over and over and over. Here's your queen of pentacles. So, Cappies, you're in alignment. This is your fertility right here with that beautiful Aries energy of the universe himself with the emperor so this is showing that this is you're in a combined force of new growth and the universe is aligning things for you exactly as they should be. We have the King of Swords. This is the beautiful energy of Archangel Michael. It's the energy of protection. It's the energy of helping you to move obstacles or things that have come in overwhelmingly. So it looks like you're going to get some assistance with that. This beautiful Archangel Michael is always very welcome and we, we love his energy. King of Swords. It can also be an air sign energy, so Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. There's your stability again, so you've got that twice. So don't worry about this little... This may have something to do with what's going on in the world right now. The economy's kind of, you know, conflicted. Just stay stable. You're, you're focusing in the right way. Don't make any rash moves. You're doing what you're supposed to be doing. Aquarius star card, beautiful energy of the uh, in alignment with your soul's desire being granted, and it is your soul path. So that little page is giving you some information to help you move in that energy. It is a yes from the universe for you to have what your soul desires. And hello, there's your Capricorn gift, <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles, which is the resurrection of your finances. You see the Easter lilies there. It's talking about bringing something back to wholeness. Now, when you get in this five of pentacles and you're worrying about having, and you know, I haven't heard anything or it hasn't happened yet. Oh, now I'm going to think about all the past things. And this is that, this is the danger of, of using this queen of, of cups as a reflector of the past. You're now looking and you're fixated on what all the things that have happened and all it's like looking at spilled milk literally but he's looking at spilled wine well the wine on the ground is putrid so it has to be disposed of turn around and look at your future you'll never see these opportunities if you keep doing this so you must choose that's why i'm pointing this out it's not that you can go okay no you've got to make a commitment and go i'm through looping in past memories and past pain and bringing that back to myself. I'm out of the loop. I'm starting this. And start. Because that's the way forward. Even if you can't see it yet. Turn and go forward. The way you know you're looping is when you start reliving things. And also people will start showing up that they may not be the same person. But they're the same person in a different pair of pants. You get it? So... They, they might not, it might not be Bob from accounting, but it's Robert from networking, right? <laughs> so it's different. It may be William from networking. It could be Patsy from networking. You get what I'm saying? But same energy. So allow yourself to let go of that or you're going to keep attracting it back to you and never get to move forward fully. 
and you've got lots of opportunities charging in my cappies with this beautiful eight of rods this is the energy of being very much in a place of of all new things coming in remember that's where that six of coins is so that means new opportunities and and better things turning out better than you'd hoped hello better than you'd hoped <laughs> This is better than you'd hoped. This is the chariot. This is a major upgrade energy. Cancer major arcana, but what it means is being seen in the limelight, being lifted up, head and shoulders above all. This is the energy of being seen at a kind of in a place of celebration, the Hollywood card, being having notoriety and 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 literally living your best possible life in, in all the things of luxury that you could hope for. So believe me when I tell you it's worth the wait. Now I want to point something out. You've got one five, two five, three fives, okay? All of those are out here. And the two of cups a second time. So it's telling you you're in divine alignment with your job and or with your higher self or and or your soulmate energy so the financial stability is saying you're aligned so it may be all three one two doesn't matter it's your thing you apply it where it belongs in your life that's why we do the general readings many blessings to you my cappy friends this is success if i've ever seen it and i hope you guys can seize the day and allow yourself to have your heart's desire be granted do not give up that nine of rods is telling you that in the very beginning is it's not time to to reel it back in keep keep yourself out there and know that any second you must be present to win but it's coming any second your number is going to be called i love you guys have a beautiful first half of August. I send you lots of love, light, peace, happiness, and joy. And I will see you again in the middle of the month. Namaste, my friends.